Well, hello, 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 everyone. How are you today? How's everything for you? <laughs> it has been some time since I've done a audio message, and it is such a honor and truly a blessing to be here with you today. It has been a tremendous journey of <sighs> purification and cleansing and expansive work within my being to arrive here, here and now with you in this space and place, which um, I can only say has been tremendously healing in my life. Um, having a more direct, loving connection to spirit, to, to the light um, has been um, so life-changing. And I have been doing some workshops and classes and uh, a women's retreat recently, in fact, and back into community building, spiritual community building and Santa Barbara and beyond. And I have um, been wanting to, well, been truly just standing and choosing to start these messages again when my heart felt guided to. And I listened intently to the message that was being brought forward as this divinely guided transmission to offer you all based on where things are at right now internally and externally. Before we do move into this message, which is really about oneness, <laughs> um, our connection to all that is, connection to our soul and how profound and beautiful that really is. And in that soul connection, we find everything that we truly wish for and choose to have in our life, which is really just the embodiment of pure light which can be not only our greatest support and our greatest teacher and far beyond words can express truly the magnitude of the light. And in that attempt to say that I know something that I could share with you about that, it truly is more of an experienced feeling that has moved into my heart and experienced download of deepening and what I would just say is pure love that is available for myself and for other that is the light love and so that being said if you would please take some slow and deep breaths with me Deep cleansing breaths into the nose, out through your mouth. And if you choose, you can close your eyes now. If, you, if you're able to, please close your eyes and take a seat. Another breath into the nose, out through the mouth. Deep cleansing, purifying breaths. A couple more. Really feel your connection to the breath, which is your soul breathing through you. The breath of life. Truly your breath, feeling the magnitude and the gratitude of it in this moment. Still breathing deeply here, rhythmically. If it were not for your breath, your soul breathing through you, you wouldn't be here right now. You would be somewhere else. <laughs> oh, and instead, you're here now. You're here in this human form, this bag of temporary flesh <laughs> to have this transcendent, rich experience of learning and evolving as a soul in this powerful, 
time to be alive on earth within this incredible universe. You know, your soul chose to be here. I mean, I don't know how much some folks want to admit to that because they're like, well, look around. It's challenging. There's, there's this going on and this going on and this division and this fear. And, you know, it, it is literally our response to that, to it. it that is, is, is so important right now. Where do you stand? Do you stand in opposition, resistance? Do you stand in separation and separateness? Or do you stand in the light two feet in, in oneness, in divine connection to all that is? If it is true that you as I are a divine emanation of God, goddess, of spirit, then there could be no separation between any of us. Which means there can be no better than, no less than. There can be no truth in competition that is supposedly healthy in some way. Isn't it the very thing that has been killing our planet, destroying it in some way? Did you know that even more conscious beings at times without it, their ego being fully dissolved compete with each other? This has been the norm, the tribal consensus consciousness of the past. And we have an opportunity now through all the turbulence to tr transcend it and to see past it and move into what's called oneness. Most importantly, in connection deeply to our souls to cleanse and clear and purify anything and everything that's attempting to stand in the way of our divinity from us walking forward as the embodiment of our soul, embodying the light constantly and consistently and no longer letting anyone or anything pull us out of our heart, pull us away from the heart, away from our soul. So that being said, right now we're being called to place one or both hands over our heart space and taking a slow and deep breath. Deep cleansing breaths and really feeling your hands next to your heart chakra now. Connecting deeply to the energy that is being felt next to your heart chakra, next to your hands. Is it open and flowing and radiant or could you possibly be feeling some blockage there some armored energy even maybe like a like a protective energy around your heart as you bring your attention your focus there you might notice energy starting to move and rise can you just let that energy move and rise it could be trapped emotion it could be grief or sadness or you might even be feeling joy that's been just kind of stuck there <laughs> You might feel like laughing right now. Isn't it so amazing to just allow ourselves to feel and be who, we've, who we are versus trying to be something that we are not? And you might say now, I don't know who that is because there really is no who to know. This I, this identity, this me, my, me, me and I and myself and who is that anyways? Is that really your heart, your soul in the eye, the identity, the one that is someone? <laughs> the soul is not trying to be someone. There is no identity within the soul. You just as you are, as this divine emanation of God, goddess, are enough, beyond enough. You are pure luminous light. In fact, fractals of God, goddess. We can together clear our systems enough, clear and cleanse our central channel, our chakra systems, removing all density, detrimental energy, impurities of any kind. 
And that's what's being invited next is to take a step back when you are ready from behind your heart into the seat of your soul, dropping in as deeply into the seat of your soul as possible. Allowing yourself to feel that transcendent, luminous, bright, light space behind your heart. If you say, if you hear a voice that says you don't know what you're doing, or you're not doing this right, who's speaking that voice and why? It's a wonderful question to ask consistently when you hear these voices. Who's saying this voice to me and why? Like, where is this voice really coming from? Is it coming from truth? Is it coming from soul, from the light? Could it be coming from somewhere else? We are hearing voices these days of consensus, consciousness, majority rules, collective. You need to think this way and be this way and do this. And why would we listen to that? So it's kind of like the uh, the cattle that you know they say like you know the cattle one by one starts to fall off the cliff. Are you just gonna you just gonna join the cattle? You're gonna join the herd? Just one by one fall off the cliff, or are you going to break free of the herd and claim what's called sovereignty? Claim your energy system. Become sovereign. And in that sovereignty, you feel free of all this frenetic have to, need to, shoulds. In your soul's light right now, this bright, brilliant place. Feel the truth of what I'm sharing. See if you can hear it even more deeply within your system. Feel and observe what comes up as you explore this term sovereignty. As you feel into what is called oneness. You don't have to be anything. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to become something. In fact, there is great liberation and freedom and being nothing and no one. Free of identity. Allowing ourselves to be clear and cleansed enough that spirit can just guide us. Show us the way. Inside of ourselves, feeling that. Please, spirit, please, God, goddess, show me the way. Show me how I can not only become free within myself and claim that freedom, not become free, because you already are free, by the way, claim that freedom, radiate this light that I truly am and help this beautiful world and service to humanity. What is it that you want me to do to serve this world? I have been guided to help the world and by helping the world, I know the best thing that we can do is cleanse and purify our energy system so that we can connect to the whole collectively, consciously, collaboratively. No more isolation of oneself, no more feeling competitive energy, no more better than, less than hierarchical status, leader versus follower. Moving into oneness, equality, deep connection from the heart and soul. So let's take that slow and deep breath. Once more. So dropping deeply then once again, if you're not already there, or as deep as you possibly can go into the space behind your heart. Resting there for a moment in silence. In this moment, feel into any message, possibly a truth or an inspiration that's being offered to you right now. 
to help you in your life from your soul. You may even ask that question. Please support me or help me in my life in this way and or offer any guidance at this time that could be helpful. And just listen. What is being shared with you? And can you now just embrace that message or truth or inspiration? Thanking your soul for this, this wisdom or this information or care for you. So let's take that slow and deep breath. Inviting you to move into a deep sense of gratitude for this time with your soul, with the light. I also move into deep gratitude for you all, for this light that moved through my system to share this message with you. I look forward to deepening in our connection in whatever way that looks like within the community and at large, locally and globally. And as well that the light that we truly are comes online more and more so we can radiate and vibrate and just send that beautiful light out into the world to help it in its time of need, genuinely. Deeply, deeply grateful for you all. Thank you so much for hearing this and have a beautiful rest of your day and blessings to you. Bye-bye.